Hey guys, how are you all? Um, I know I missed Mega Mondays yesterday, but I had a very, very good reason. And my voice sounds a bit sore because yesterday a really good friend came over and we watched the Utano Prince on my third live stage and it was so good. <clears throat> my voice is like totally gone, so if I sound really weird in this video, I apologize. But that concert was just absolutely amazing. I don't usually watch a lot of Say You live events, and I don't always like follow concerts or like review concerts exclusively. But I really wanted to make a video to talk about the Utama Prince of Third live stage, kind of give you my thoughts on it, and just kind of talk about Say You live events in general. So I did do an Otome video last week and that was kind of on the genre as a whole. Utano Prinzama is one of the animes in the genre that have really taken flight since the games came out. Um, they are just so popular, the characters, the seiyus, the songs, everything. Because of the show's popularity, the show was given like live stage events where the seiyus or the voice actors can come out, sing some songs, talk to the fans a bit, and just kind of like give us more of that fandom that we really, really love. And I really think live events are a really great thing. Um, we don't get them a lot in like North America. Um, mostly it's just like guests who come to panels or conventions. But these are actually like live events um, where you just go and meet and greet voice actors, get their signatures sometimes. There are a lot of fun freebies and just to kind of get and immerse yourself into that fandom that you really love. Most of the live events that I've heard about are more for like shoujo, yaoi, or an otome anime. Um, that's probably just me because those are just the genres that I'm usually familiar with and that I always like look to. Um, I'm very sure that there are live event shows for shonen and like other very popular action shows or even like idol shows that are geared towards the male demographic. Um, but I don't know much about them, um, and I just kind of want to talk about live shows in general. I've seen the first Uta Free Live, and I've watched the second Uta Free Live, and separately or combined, they were just not as good as the third live. The third live takes place at the Yokohama Arena Hall. It's this really huge, like, place. Um, the acoustics are a lot better, I think. There are a lot of, like, special effects. Um, the lights were, like, in multitude, flashing everywhere. Um, and just really high production quality. Um, you actually see your favorite voice actors, they dress up according to each character's theme and they actually come out in like different outfits, they choreograph and they arrange so that there's like really cool stuff happening during the songs. There is a song in the show sung by the seiyu Suzumura Kenichi and the song is very like feudal Japan themed and they actually had this entire like mini drama play out while the song was going on and while Suzuken was singing in the back and in the middle Suzuken actually joins the drama and he joins this like sword fight that's taking place. He fights the bad guys, the bad samurais and then he stabs one of them. He gets up and he goes back to singing like right away. It's literally like the best moment because he's like oh, and then he just physically and mentally moves on from the moment and he goes back into the song but it's so awesome because it's all done really flawlessly and it just flows together really well that was one of my favorite moments in the show and that was really awesome we rewound and replayed that like 10 times after we finished the concert. It was great. The concert actually aired live um, last year in September. So it was before the Utano Prince on the Christmas themed episode came out. And then they actually sang the new Christmas song as like their present to the fans, which is really sweet of them. And what I watched yesterday was like the DVD release of the concert um, with all the behind the scenes stuff. I think live events are really great. A lot of them are like you sign up and it's like by chance and it's just like the luck of the draw of whether you get to go. Um, over here, when we go to like conventions and panels, they cap you off, so it's like how early you get to the line. And I guess that's kind of fair too, but then like, uh, I don't know. You feel like sometimes you're really close to the door and then your favorite actor or singer is on the other side and you can't see them, it's kind of sad. But I think live events are really great and if you guys understand Japanese or if you guys really love the culture or this certain genre, I really encourage you to attend one in Japan because they are absolutely phenomenal. Like, I was watching the concert, the people screaming, all the glow sticks, it was just amazing. And, and everyone in Japan is so polite, the performers are so humble, so sweet, I absolutely love them. It is literally watching your favorite character come onto stage and like come alive from the screen. You're not fangirling at like two dimensional characters, you're fangirling at three dimensional actual people who are like talented, have the voice, have the looks, they're so amazing. It's not even just seeing your favorite characters come alive, it's like getting to know the voice behind the characters. You see a lot of like their cute personality quirks, how they are on stage, 
um, whether or not they're nervous or awkward. And sometimes voice actors will play a really, really like confident or arrogant character, and they're actually like really dorky and like really humble in real life. And it's it's really cute to see that. Um, it gives weight to the phrase like celebrities aren't perfect, and it's really kind of nice to see them, even it's like through the screen, and you can see their behind the scenes, how they interact with each other, and how they're just really normal, fun people to be with. I feel like for Asian singers or particularly like Japanese voice actors, they always keep it really humble. They don't openly disclose all their like romantic troubles or like drama. And there isn't a lot of that in like Eastern culture, I think. Um, over here, sometimes it just like boggles my mind how people can have their entire lives out on paper. Another cool thing about watching live events is you get to meet voice actors or like seiyus where you didn't really like their character or you didn't really like know much about them, but they come out and you're like, wow, this person's like really amazing. And you just like know um, a new actor and more fangirling and all that jazz. Word of warning though, if you're not very fluent in Japanese, um, you have three options to go about this. If you go to a live event, you can either just go and just listen and some maybe you'll pick up on something, maybe you won't, that's it. Two, go with a friend who actually understands Japanese so she can translate for you. Three, wait for the DVD and all the behind the scenes and all the special goodies and they might have like subtitles with you so you can understand that. Or four, if you watch the DVD at home, also bring along a friend who is proficient at translating Japanese for you. Um, I kind of went with option four because obviously I can't fly to Japan in the middle of the school year to attend an event as much as I would like to. And my Japanese is very limited so it's not good enough to like translate full dialogues. So my friend came over at 9 yesterday, we just went from like 9 to 9 and just screamed and fangirled and danced and it was crazy, but it was amazing, it was really fun. Haley, if you're watching this, um, I had an absolutely amazing time with you, so much fun, we have to do it again, and thank you so much for like bringing the concert over and being such an awesome friend. This video is dedicated to you. Oh, and if you guys are following my blog, littlecloudcuriosity.com, and you sometimes get these like full lyric translations, Haley is the one that does all those translations. So go there, comment, please send her some love. Um, I will leave a link of the little projects we've done together below, so please check those out. So that will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'm sorry I missed Manga Mondays again yesterday, but it was for a very good reason, like I said. And Manga Mondays will actually not be back till the week after next week, because on Saturday I'm getting my wisdom teeth out, and I don't know if I'll be able to go on video or speak without looking and sounding like a chipmunk after that procedure. So I'm going to try to put out as many videos as I can this week, um, and... I will just talk to you guys then. Bye! Ugh, oh, I need a lozenge and like some tea. My throat hurts so much.